Alrighty guys, and welcome back to another LEGO set review from Brick by Brick, and today we have the LEGO Dimensions Zane Fun Pack. And um, Zane is a pretty cool character in the game. He can dive, which is probably what I like most about him, just because he's the only character I currently have that can swim underwater. This is what the Fun Pack boxes look like, if you weren't aware. Um, there's Zane and his ninja copter. And I'm, I just brought this up here so you could um, see real quick the uh, Freeze Fighter and the Glaciator. And it is different between game and real life, which isn't great, but, you know. And, yeah, that's the uh, different forms of Zane's vehicle. I'm not going to rebuild Zane's vehicle in this video because um, I, mean, I don't have the instructions right now. Um, but I will probably do another video later on showing the other forms of each vehicle, you know. But the Ninja Copter is okay. You can see, obviously, they all have their, um, the same base as all the vehicles, and you have to toy tag them separately. Um, I might show you how that works, too, but, you know, interesting. And I didn't actually mention that with the starter pack, um, review, I don't think. And there's one other thing I forgot to mention in the starter pack review, which I'm probably going to talk about a little bit later. Um, so there is the ninja copter. Not too complex of a build. It doesn't look terrible. Um, obviously would have been more accurate if it didn't have this white plate going on the bottom, but they probably needed that for other builds, because obviously they make sure to include all the parts in every single build, which I appreciate. Um, but here is the Zane figure. Very cool. Um, you know, because he's a ninja of ice. Get it? Haha. <laughs> but uh, he has his um, shurikens. They give all the ninja, like, their golden weapons, I think. Um, but Zane's is actually slightly different because they're the new version of Shurikens. So. But, um, there's his leg print. Very cool. He's on, um, it's on, like, light gray. And not the normal white for Zane. Because he's obviously Zane 2.0. You guys actually haven't seen a video, um, where I've showed this Zane. Because I don't have the Titanium Dragon yet. I did get it for Christmas, but I might actually sell it and get the uh, Master Wu Dragon. I'm not certain. I kind of want to open it for the Klaus figure, but we'll see. And um, there's his torso print. You know, he's got the Zane symbol and the shurikens there. And um, his face print is very cool. I really like the way that that goes underneath his mask. You can see, but he also has a double-sided face. Um, this other side of his face would be useful if we had a silver hairpiece, but otherwise it just looks a little bit weird. Um, I should probably have my minifigure spinner. But he has um, silver shoulder pads, which is cool, and you can fit two swords in there. And then he's got the back printing there, which shows, I think that's the same um, thing that was used for his heart. I think that's his power source, but I'm not certain. And um, you can see it's kind of got the... Uh, a similar style to the other um, ninja in this particular suit, but yeah. And there's his base, which is cool. All the ninja have their elemental symbols in the front, their little um, numbers or mm, letters in the back. And um, Zane just has um, that brown on the sides. Every other ninja has some random pattern in their color. It's just a look. Uh, J is real quick, which is another upcoming review, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's basically all there is to the Zane figure, oh, except I just forgot to give you a good look at his mask. Um, his mask has his symbol on the top. It is the first time we've gotten a ninja mask in this silvery color, which is cool. It's obviously because he's the titanium ninja. This is, that's the titanium ninja version of Zane here. And it, the thing I like about this is that he's got like little screws on the top sections there. Um, that's the main difference between his and the other ninja's masks. Um, so, yeah. This is obviously the most, of the three fun packs, I got all three fun packs for Christmas. Actually, my brother and sister each got one, and I got the Zane one. My brother got Jay, and my sister got Nia. Um, but yeah. So, obviously, pretty cool little, uh, character. Um, the abilities it gives you in game, you can, he can do the same, like, switches as Batman, the Batarang switches, 
which is a little bit odd, but I think they're actually like boomerang switches, and they um, just, um, you know, any boomerang, because Gollum can throw, uh, throw fish at them, something like that. And um, you can also dive underwater, which is cool, and he has x-ray vision, which, um, and acrobatics like wild style. Um, X-ray vision's kind of one of the rarer powers out there, because I think only Superman, him, and Superman, Zane, and Cyberman, maybe? And I think there's probably a couple other characters. Not too many, though. And then um, his vehicle, if you upgrade it to the third form, it can do the, uh, like, it, the way it is, it can do the jet switches. But um, if you upgrade it to its final form, I think you can destroy gold or something. I haven't upgraded this vehicle. This is the only vehicle I haven't upgraded in the game. But, you know. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you did. Um, note, um, the, the starter pack is just, um, the fun pack is just these. It doesn't come with the starter pack base. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys all next time. Have a fan food test. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The one other thing that I was going to discuss in the starter pack review... Um, as I was going to show you the back of the box, but I never did. Um, so this shows you all the uh, little fun packs. These ones down here aren't out yet. The ones I am definitely, hopefully going to get are Marty McFly, the Portal level pack, Jurassic World team pack, um, probably the Cyborg, um, Cyborg fun pack, and maybe Doctor Who. Um, also possibly the Wicked Witch and Legolas. But, um, and then also when they come out, I'm looking forward to getting Doc Brown, um, Midway Gamer Kid, and the Ghostbusters. Um, I'm looking forward to all three Ghostbusters, I think. Like, all three Ghostbusters characters. But, um, so hopefully, you guys will see, um, those on my channel at some point. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys all next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.